Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Brad and uh, this is going to be Libra Sun, uh, Libra Moon and Libra Rising Weekly tarot reading April 8th to April 14th uh, 2019 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Libra Star Sign and uh, for that reason the reading is going to relate to different stuff and as well is going to resonate in a different way with every single different uh, Libra in this world because you guys are uh, rather different uh, from one another. So if you do want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by Taro, uh, through, through Taro by me, excuse me, and to tell you what has happened uh, with it uh, in the future, that is the subject of a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. So that being said, going to the Libra general uh, weekly reading, the first card which is marking the topic of your week Libras, that will be the Ace of Cups. Followed by the second card, which is the negative approach to the situation here, that is going to be the Queen of uh, Cups. Third card, which is the positive approach to the situation, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. And the last card that we do have, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that will be the Hierophant card. So we do have a lot of Cups um, this week for you guys, and a lot of energies of stillness if I'm express it that way kind of like sustainable energies all right so the first once again it is the ace of cups followed by the queen of cups then the third one this is going to be the nine of cups and the last one that we do have that is going to be the hierophant card all right, so uh, ob obviously quite of a, uh, a positive and exhilarating week for you, uh, Libras. It will be a week of, uh, if you want to say that way, it's going to be a week of love because the Ace of Cups does represent that, but it, it, it does not only represent, you know, the, la the love from two individuals into one another. In general, it represents love for life uh, as overall. So as a topic, we do have that awesome card here, which is the Ace of Cups, and uh, it does represent that, a lot of content, a lot of exhilaration, you know, a lot of joyful experience that one is going to have for throughout the week. Usually when the Ace of Cups is the primary card in one reading, it does relate to a thing that happens spontaneously, out of nowhere, completely, um, not random, but surprisingly, should I say that way, which makes current goals and above everything else current problems completely completely irrelevant as it is giving you something new to look forward to which looks much better than what it is what than what it is right now so you can expect let's say a a new beginning throughout the week in a certain version of it it isn't it's not like going to be a, a life uh life type beginning like your life entirely changes you know but with the ace of cups definitely where in uh, one of your fields of uh, of life there will be a, a major change as a new beginning coming in which is going to be quite of a uh, exhilarating is <clears throat> going to, like I said, you know, fulfill uh, your spot in the heart which was once empty and as well is going to transcend uh, your daily reality. You know, that could be a new beautiful job offer, it could be a, a new love interest and so on and so forth. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the Six of Wands and the formation is a uh, <clears throat> passive enemies. So uh, it will be slowly developing one, which with the ace, with the six of wands, by the way, it, there is a um, a small minus here where you may not recognize the full value of it straight away. What I mean is that the thing itself could have a tremendous potential to make you happy, but at its at, at its initial stage. You may not recognize it that way. You may recognize it as something very small and trifling, all right? So for just just to give you an example here, a friend of yours comes with, with an, an idea here to open a private business and you don't see very potential into their idea in the first place. But if you give it a chance a little bit, you know, to live in it for at least a couple of days, your perception and, and your expectations for it may change 
drastically. So uh, the bottom line with these couple of cards, guys, is that if something good happens to you throughout the week, give yourself a chance to experience it instead of, you know, pulling yourself away. It is because you may think that it's not going to be a, a long lasting one. That it's a con that concerns as well career development and as well relationship development, especially if we're talking about a relationship development here. If someone is approaching you, give the man a chance or give the girl a chance. Uh, if you want to say it that way, it's just <clears throat> it's not guaranteed that things are to happen, but at the very least you are to feel liked, cherished, loved, you know, and that the very least is going to boost your confidence to strive forward into a new ventures, into a relationship life, <clears throat> which leads us, <coughs> excuse me, which leads us to the second card here that will be the Queen of Cups. And this is the things that you should not do regarding the topic, which is the Ace of Cups. So the Queen of Cups, it does refer to a huge understanding into the human nature, knowing the plights of others and as well being discreet about what is going on. So that is what you don't want to do. You don't want to be discreet about what's going on. I mean, if something good happens to you, you need to know, you need to let the world to know about it. You know, you, you can even, you can say it that way, you can even brag about it, if you will. You know, that really awesome guy at your high school is hitting on you and you never thought that that is going to happen, but now it's happening. So you can, you can brag about it. You know, I mean, you can let the people know that something good is happening to you. It is because you are th that way for what it seems you are to unblock some type of an energy. <clears throat> as well as uh, if we're talking about a um, interactions here, as this card relates to knowing, you know, in a profound level, the uh, human nature. In this case, you may be misled of what that person re really is in a negative way. That I mean, what I what I'm trying to say here is that you may think that this person is a um, a nerd. All right, you may think that this person is a nerd, but it may turn out that they are more cooler than you think they are. It's just you 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 just need to give them a chance. Okay. And uh, as well, the queen, it kind of asks you to cherish the feelings of your heart, which kind of comes in a contradictory with the first card, because the first card says that something new is to, is to kind of like ignite new feelings in your heart. Therefore, the card urges you not to, uh, not to get way too deep in the current feel oh it's the in the current feelings of uh, your heart oh it's difficult to explain so i'll try to give you a couple of examples here let's say that you're going through a, a recent breakup all right which is the most trivial example here and instead of you <clears throat> nurturing these kind of emotions of grief sorrow and torment instead you need to liberate yourself from them and try to find the goodness and love in the world the accompanied card that is going to be the tower card. So the formation is passive neutrals once again. And with the with the shade that the tower card here ends as the queen kind of like smothers the tower card and the tower card on another hand smothers the queen. It, it's basically these cards are pointing that from you are to raise like a phoenix from the ashes. So it is likely that you recently Libras went through a, a very difficult time one way or another, uh, either in career or either in relationship, you know, not every Libra is going to have a, their life on the rocks here where nothing is going on. You know, you may have your marriage really in a good place, but your career really suck or vice versa. Uh, but in this week, you are to feel that significant improvement into that field where uh, you, you where things were going really really bad and once again it's going to happen spontaneously out of nowhere completely completely in a random um, in the random scale where to be a, a very very pleasant surprise giving you something truly to look forward to uh, <clears throat> the havoc the havoc that was wreaked before uh, in your um, in your world, it, it looks like that is going to end in a big time with these uh, couple of cards. It's just once again, guys, it's very important that once, uh, once the good thing starts happening for you, you should allow the world to see them. I mean, if, if that's a new person, like I said, which uh, wants to 
um, impress you in any way, you know, or is trying to hit in on you, uh, you need to know, you need to let the world knowing about it. That is especially, you know, if you do have, for example, an, an ex, all right, and your ex wants to come back to you, let's say, and you do have a new love interest, it will be good if you just share that with your ex that you are not not interested in them anymore and you do want to spend more time with this new interest. Or same goes with career. If, if a new proposition, for example, for a job comes around, instead of keeping it in secret, you need to share it with your boss, you know, that you do have a better offer, which could force a chain of events here. Let's say that you say them that you do have a job offer for a 50% more payment, all right? Maybe your boss who is going to be agreed in order to keep you, to give you more money or to, to promote you or God knows what, you know. So it's it's important to show to the world that good things, once again, are happening to you, which are to happen to you, Libras. It's it's a very obvious thing for the, from these cards. But that leads us to the third card, which is the best course of actions toward the Ace of Swords. So we do have the Ace of Wands, uh, uh, the Ace of Cups, excuse me. So we do have that amazing surprising surprising happening around you which gives the momentum of good things forming in your life. What happens after that however it's going to depend entirely on you with the eight with the nine of uh, with the nine of cups here while the environment is going to be very exhilarating you know it's going to be dappled with sensual joy and as well uh, you are to feel like your wishes are fulfilling and so on and so forth you need to know that that is just the momentum of the week okay so if you don't do anything to solidify or to secure what is happening to you on the positive scale then it is likely that this thing is going to just walk away so it's important with the nine of cups to recognize that this surprising happiness which um, overwhelms you at that point throughout the week it is just a temporary one and in order to make it permanent you also need to make your side of the contribution meaning new new law of interest well you have to show that person that you're interested as well you know maintain communication don't be uh, don't be away I don't know how to to, to put in in words here but you know these people who like to basically give a rough time to their suitors just so they think that that way the suitor is gonna like them more well with me personally that doesn't work I mean the more a girl gives me a rough time the more disinterest I become it's just but for example guys I text only once if the girl says no then I don't text anymore it's just like that's that I, I, if I have a girl of interest and I want to ask her out on a date. I'll just, do you want to go on a date with me? If she says no, she ain't going to hear anymore from me. I mean, if she, if she wants a date with me, then she needs to be the one that kind of like makes the contact afterwards. Because I asked once and I don't like to bruise myself. So the point here with the Nine of Cups is that you also need to do your part in it instead of, you know, trying to, or thinking that being a, uh, seemingly disinterest it is just it is basically boosting up the interest of the other uh, that is uh, if we're talking about relationships but with the nine of cups once again it is important here if you like something to continue on nurturing that something instead of throwing in a way uh, in the garbage how well the uh, the way how you can do so is going to be pretty obvious uh, i mean I, and i mean it it's going to be pretty, pretty pretty obvious and with the nine of cups uh, all that you have to do is going to be also very, very uh, exhilarating. It's not going to be something uh, annoying or uh, really heavy on, on, on duties and responsibilities. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands. So the formation is a passive enemies once again. It looks like that once that thing forms out of a surprising event, there aren't going to be any surprises anymore. And with these cards, you have to as well do some moves to establish its secured future. So if once again, that is a love interest, you pretty much fought throughout the week, gotta make it clear that you wanna be with them if you wanna be with them, all right? So you gotta secure your future instead of leaving that person to be baffled what you really want. Same thing goes about career, if that is a job offer, for example, till the end of the week you have to make it clear what decision you are to make regarding your job, should you stay on the current place, you know, if you have a better proposition, or should you go into the new place that it is offered for you. And in general, you know what I mean, guys, it's just you gotta make a decisive moves 
to um, to make it clear either to the people which are involved into the situation or to the situation itself that you are pretty much all in it uh, and uh, you are ready to do whatever it needs to be done in order to once again traverse this temporary and short-term uh, exhilaration and happiness into a, a long-lasting one. Which leads us to the last card here, that will be the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of Tarot and we do have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is the most natural way of how things are to develop. Also, it's a card uh, showing a, a long lasting endeavor in many ways. <clears throat> it's difficult to be interpreted because in this follow up, it could literally relate into everything. So I will try with the most uh, general interpretation. So the Hierophant, it is a, about trust and it is, it is a, about a... Um, doing things that one accepts uh, that one takes as acceptable meaning that uh let's say you start a new job things ain't gonna be based on money anymore i mean it's not like you're not gonna get a good salary but you are gonna find yourself not going at this job because of a salary you're gonna go at this job because you like doing that job and because you find it interesting and because you find it completely fitting with your code of conduit meaning that you are going to find yourself in the best place you have ever been talking about interactions and relationships with the hierophant everything is based on trust so if that's a new suitor then it means that you are going to have complete trust into one another you know you are going to feel that reliability that you are uh, going to have among one another as well and with with the, with the hierophant really people does um find a, a true meaning or define a, a new and true meaning of connection and love uh, once again. It is likely that at the end with the Hierophant you are to, um, if the situation looks very difficult uh, or very complex, not difficult but complex, you are to counsel yourself with good friends, with, with um, you may seek as well therapeutic help and whatever issues are to arise, it is uh, likely that you already know their solution as their solution is going to exist in the framework of, of already ongoing things. So there will be nothing there that is catching you off guard. Uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the nine of wands the formation is passive neutrals and uh, uh, the nine of wands is just here a confirmation that no more changes are needed or right? you pretty much uh, kind of like established your path that uh, this new thing coming up giving you something to look forward to is forming for you so you have established your path at the end of the week you pretty much know where that path leads you know and you pretty much know what you want from that path as well and you are to continue that path just as planned and it is very likely that this path is going to lead you where you are expecting now where you're expecting is different from what you want for many of you these things are going to um overlay one another meaning what you expect is going to be what you want for others that is not going to be the case but at least you will have more foreseeable and um, <clears throat> as well secured future if you go down uh, that road the very least uh, Libras it does look like that's a uh, an era of torment and of a uh, of a turmoil it is kind of ending here with a, a very uh, with a very exhilarating finale uh, if you ask me and um, if you yeah if you ask me and uh, it looks like that your life if until now it was very difficult and you kind of like doubted yourself is it really worth all those uh, sacrifices uh, this week is going to show you that your life uh, either slowly progressive or all of a sudden is going to start worth living again so that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 8th to April 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, this was your general reading for Libra Star Sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way uh, and is going to relate for different stuff for every sim uh, stuff for every single different Libra. But if you do want a personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video, and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, 
that is the subject of a uh, private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to see um, the full list of my services on the very front page of it and also their pricing which is starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded reading and uh, reading services and $15 for the private call reading services. That being said, Brad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.